Did you know that one in four of installed apps are never used? In fact, only 26% of apps are used daily, which means that the majority of apps just sit there. If your app is one of the unlucky ones, I've got good news for you. You can improve user engagement by reminding users to come back to your app with Google Cloud messaging notifications. In my experience, the best way to learn GCM is by running the sample code. So in this video, I will show you how you can use an open source project called the GCM Playground to get started quickly. Hi, I'm Jarek Wilkiewicz. In this series, I'm covering things every developer needs to understand to be successful, user acquisition, engagement, and earning money. In this episode, we'll focus on user engagement. As you saw in the previous video on this series, driving installs is what developers need to focus on first. But you can do much more than that. You see, users abandon apps quite rapidly. When asked, 34% of them report they stop using apps because they lost interest. So how can you entice your users to get back into your app? User research shows that notifications work very well. Sending a notification to the user with a discount or a coupon, a deep link to bonus content, a friend or family update, or a cool new feature announcement are all great ways to get continued engagement for your app. According to Localytics, app users with notifications enabled use the app more often than users with notifications disabled. This begs two questions. How often can you pop a notification? And how do you implement notifications? First of all, pick the right frequency. Make sure your notifications are relevant and targeted. Marketers from leading brands send notifications somewhere between one notifications per month to one per week. Secondly, use a reliable cloud infrastructure so your messages don't get lost in transit. So how do you implement notifications? There are three parts to it. First, you need the business logic to decide what to send to which users and when. Typically, this runs in a separate backend application server and is specific to your application. Second, you need the transport layer to efficiently push messages to millions of devices. Third, your app should handle processing of incoming notifications. The first part is something you will need to build yourself, but later in the video, I'll show you how to get started. Google Cloud Messaging takes care of the middle part. You know the one that efficiently pushes messages to millions of devices? For the third part, GCM can display notifications for you automatically, or you can implement your own display logic. Let's now talk about message delivery. When you want to send a notification to your users, with GCM, you don't have to worry about managing client app connections to your app server. The messages sent from your app server are received by GCM connection servers and reliably delivered to your app. GCM supports server-to-device messaging, subscription-based topic messaging, and even upstream messaging from the client back to the app server. Upstream messages can be used for, for example, automatically dismissing notifications on other devices belonging to the same user. GCM supports notifications for Android, iOS, and even Chrome clients. When a message from GCM connection server arrives, your app can display it as an in-app notification, or if the app is not in the foreground, the notification is displayed in the notification tray. In my experience, the best way to understand GCM is to take a look at the sample code. We have provided an end-to-end -end example in the GCM Playground open source project, which you can clone from GitHub. The GCM Playground comes with a web UI you can use to send notifications from a sample Go backend app server to Android, iOS, and Chrome clients. The GCM Playground uses Docker containers to package the examples with their dependencies so it is easy to get started. Here's an example sequence. Once you build and launch the example Docker containers, go to the web UI to send notification. The notification is delivered to the sample application server and distributed to the registered Android, iOS, and Chrome clients through GCM connection servers. In a real-life application, the server is the component you would integrate with your application-specific targeting logic. The GCM Playground makes it easier by providing most of the application server GCM integration code as a part of the GCM Go library, which you can use in your own app server. Thank you for watching.